Just giving off the vibe. All right, let's just make sure we're all good in the hood. I was off by a 16th. Got these little holes, make sure they're good. So we covered those in clear bra and the wrap, and then these over the top. Nothing you can do about holes putting it in there, but those will hold nice, look good. And from a few feet, you'll never know. Happens a lot. Really, really, really. This is really hard. This looks really straight. <laughs> I like the audio. Yeah, I like this one. Dude, this is Smokey and the Bandit, right? So, here, hold on. What do you do? Show off. <laughs> it's the classic line. Timmy? Yes. Do you get Papa his glasses? Yes, Papa. So these Jeeps, this has a pretty decent recess that runs right around in here, all your corners. And this is on a lot of doors when you're doing color changes. So one technique, number one, you'll see I start in all my corners first. So a lot of guys just heat that corner and push that corner. You wanna heat the whole entire thing. So you heat that whole thing and then you have this push this vinyl over 
and now I can just do where I feed that in there. So I literally took vinyl, pulled this way, which pulls from here and here, and it feeds that instead of overstretching your vinyl. And when you do that, it also pulls this tight, which allows you just to lay that in there without any wrinkling or anything of the sort. And you can just feed all that stuff in. And if you wanna be real thorough when you're all done, you can take and just post heat that with the uh, V-cat roller. But I'll do the same thing here. Heat it, but I'll heat all of this. Heat it all so that you can take this, push it in, let it, let it have some loose vinyl. And then you can just take and work all that in and you're not overstretching your vinyl. Not to mention some of these vinyls are, are uh, pretty thin, right? Like the, the opacity on them. If you look on the back side. Here. Right, so if you were to overstretch that right there, it becomes pretty obvious pretty quick when you overstretch it, right? If you look, you can see the, see that little bit of, right there, that ghosting, which is right here. So if you start overstretching in there, you're gonna get ghosting. And on this color change film, you've gotta be just aware of it. You don't want ghosting, you don't want it thinning out. And if you're thinning it, the reason that it's gonna fail, I mean, everyone talks about failures and you don't want them. And it all comes down, to me at least, I mean, and over all the years, is just, if you thin it out real bad, what you're doing is you're thinning the adhesive on the back. So if you thin that adhesive out, it doesn't have the ability to hold well. It's not the vinyl's fault at that point, it's the installer's fault. So if you just feed it in there real nice, it'll look good. It'll look better and uh, it's gonna last a whole heck of a lot longer especially even with weather right I and mean, if you've thinned out vinyl in UV and everything else it's gonna deplete out the longevity of the vinyl overall just for longevity I'm gonna just use a glove since we're here and just make sure that all set, post heat that after the fact. And make sure if there's any little air and bubbles, you just make sure that stuff's out of there and set it real good. Especially these corners. <laughs> 